My name is Lou Donovan, and uh, I live in Carson, California. And you have had trouble with electromagnetic radiation? Uh, yes, I've yeah. had a lot of trouble with electromagnetic uh, radiation. It has put me in hospital four times. Now, was this from your electric meter? This is from the electric meter that uh, was installed outside my bedroom window. Okay. And uh, it affected the arrhythmia of my heart. How do you know it was the meter? Well, because um, since it has been removed, I'm, uh, I've had no problem since. Uh, the arrhythmia. And, and you had no problems before it was installed? None at all before. I'd had, uh, I'd had problems with my heart before, which was perfectly all right for 20 years. And, and after that meter was put in, I had started having arrhythmia problems. So when you say arrhythmia problems, your heart was not functioning properly? Well, my heart would speed up to do about 170 beats a minute, and uh, I could normally control uh, any arrhythmia that I would have before just by meditation and relaxing, and uh, the, the smart meter I couldn't. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't bring it down. I had to uh, be admitted into uh, intensive care in the hospital. And, and they, so this is, for, this is from not necessarily the transmitted high energy radiation, the data transmission, but this is from the dirty electricity or the electromagnetic smog yeah. caused by the disruption of the power current in your home, I guess, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Because it's you've measured this, right? You have a meter. I have a meter and I measured it inside. And um, So you find the levels in the home to be high yes. and that would not be congruent with transmitted pulsed radiation. This is constant smog type radiation. This is constant, yes, yes. Right, so this is the other problem that they don't tell you the meters do. It, correct, Basically, yes. and you yeah. found that when you were in that electromagnetic field, your heart was yes. going to high rates of arrhythmia. Yes, and it, it wouldn't happen all the time. It happened uh, the first time was, well, was eight months after the meter was installed, yep. and then the second time it occurred was six months after that, and then it went four months after that, and then went two months after that. Was so you became more and more sensitive. More and s more sensitive as the time went by. And you found that when you were able to remove the meter, that you did recover. Correct. Yes. Yeah. And and what is the what would you recommend from your experience that people may not understand or that you've gone through what they should do or what they should know? They should know that they can change that meter, and they should do that. That is the most important part of it: is to change that meter over. They need to know that because it's a cumulative, the effect of the radiation, and it will get you even if you are healthy. Some part, if you have a, um, uh, you know, a weak part of your body, it will come out on that weak part. That's, that's how it, how so it, it works. So could it could damage you in different ways than it, even the person next to you. Exactly, yes. And can you explain in your experience what the symptoms are they might look at. You, you have arrhythmia because you have a heart problem, right. but they may have other symptoms, right? Well, the first things that I uh, occurred with me was, uh, was headaches I, and neck aches. I thought it was because of the way I was sleeping, um, but no, it, it went on and on and on. And then after the, and I found that after the meter was removed from my house, I was sprayed by the next door neighbor's meter, which affected my breathing. So breathing will be affected your uh, sleep, you can't sleep, you'll be up walking around at night. I mean, it's, it's insomnia is just, you haven't heard about it yet. So it could be headaches, it could be the yeah. usual, they say insomnia, heart palpitations, loss of yes. concentration, loss of brain function. Exactly. Those yes. things. Uh, anything else that you know that you can tell us to help people understand uh, how to look out for the problems that their meter might be causing them? Well, it, it's basically your, your overall health. You know, there's, if there's something happening with you, then look at the meter itself. Look first to that. I so, mean. So, so correlate when the meter was installed to when your health might have started to be affected, and then, and then see if you feel better when you're outside, yes. like camping or, or somewhere in the park where you're not exposed. Yes, yes, outside is a, is a lot. But it, once it gets you, once it builds up, once it, the, the radiation builds up in your body, it's very hard to shake it off because wherever you go, that's because it's built up so So much. it may take time it, to recover. It takes time to recover, but you'll start recovering immediately as soon as that thing is removed. Mm -hmm. but, and remember also, too, that the next-door neighbor's meter is also uh, emitting radiation as well. So if that's very close to your establishment, your home, right. you're going to get the overspray from, from their meters. 
And since I've had the next door neighbors one changed as well, which is just recently, I, I felt that immediately that I was, my breathing came back, I was starting to breathe. And I, I was worried about my breathing. I had an operation just recently for a hernia and they do pre-op um, uh, tests with your blood tests and x-rays for your lungs to make sure you can handle the, the operation. Right. And uh, the doctor then said that uh, the blood tests were, were great. And the, I said, how about the x-rays? He says, your lungs are, are fine. I said, is there any COPD there or emphysema? He said, no. He says, they're good. I said, well, why do I have trouble breathing? Right. And this is the smart meter. As soon as that next door neighbor smart meter was changed over, my breathing started to come back. My breathing is getting better and better. And this has been just a week. Uh, this is just a week ago. This yeah. is brand new. So it affects portions of your health that you would never expect. You wouldn't expect, and it doesn't show up. It, you can Your lungs can be fine, but your breathing's not. Right, So right. Why don't you show us your pacemaker there? Sure. Now, now this is an electrical device, and how is that affected uh, by the smart meter? Well, this was affected by the smart meter. I had this in the second time I went to the hospital after uh, after the meter was put in, which was which was around um, eight months and uh, ten, fourteen months, mm -hmm. and this 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 was a defibrillator pacemaker, right. and this regulates the arrhythmia in the heart, and then if the heart stops, this will. Okay, you can throw that up. And, and, and that actually had to save your life a couple times because of the meter. It has already, yes. At least four times this has saved my life. But the meter actually turned the pacemaker off, and I went into hospital, and the doctors could not understand why the pacemaker had gone off. Now, when the, your pacemaker goes off, that could be fatal. Yes. Yeah, when, it doesn't, when it doesn't work correctly. Yeah. It's supposed to pace it and everything. And so I got arrhythmia with, even though I had this pacemaker in my chest, I still had arrhythmia. And then I had to go into hospital again. So the again. pacemaker was unable to overcome the effects of the electromagnetic radiation. Exactly, yes. And it was affected itself by the electromagnetic radiation. Yes, yes. A and it actually shut down your pacemaker. It shut down my pacemaker. And it also, it affected me uh, when I first had the pacemaker, uh, the defibrillator and pacemaker put in. Uh, I went, came out from the hospital. The first month I was at home, it stopped my heart completely. And then... The, what stopped your heart? I believe the pace, uh, the uh, the smart meter stopped my heart completely, yep. the electrical current completely. Really. And then the defibrillator went off, boom, and started up again, which Sa saved my saved you saved me again. Then uh, f four months after that, I had arrhythmia again, and it just the pacemaker was overridden by the smart meter, mm -hmm. so I had to be admitted to hospital again in intensive care to bring this. To bring the uh, obviously a pacemaker is not designed to withstand a heavy electromagnetic radiation field it, around it exactly yes. yes all right thank you Lou appreciate your your time thank you Jerry